Hey guys, Matt with Modern Artisan here. Uh, got some big projects coming up that I'm really excited about. We've been shooting a lot of video on that we're almost done on. So those are those are coming out soon. So make sure you subscribe so you see when those are coming out. Uh, today we are looking at this headboard. Uh, this was a kind of a <clears throat> project I did a while back and I got some video and some pictures on. So uh, I'm gonna show those and kind of do some voiceover on, on what I did and we'll talk through it. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool project. It can be done with walnut like this or other types of wood. So uh, yeah, here goes. Okay, so here's another look at this thing before we dive in. Uh, what's cool about it is that it actually floats, meaning that it's hung on the wall. It's uh, kind of a freestanding thing. It's not freestanding, it hangs on the wall, but uh, you can take it out of there and move it to a different room or a different house. Uh, so we did this with uh, walnut, which is kind of an expensive way to go, but I've also done this type of thing with uh, like pallet wood or uh, pine that's painted and distressed. So there's a lot of different cool looks you can do with this. So of course the easiest way to achieve this kind of look would just be to nail wood on the wall. That'd be a lot easier than what we did here. Um, but what we did here gives you gives you more of a three-dimensional look, almost looks like a piece of furniture instead of part of the wall and it's floating, which is which is pretty cool. <clears throat> it also has uh, electrical run in it. So uh, actually framing this and putting it on the wall gives us the ability to wire in those lights and outlets and everything. And it just and it's just wired into a plug that actually plugs into an outlet that's behind the new headboard. Okay, so here's my drawing that I started with. Let me try to explain this here. Uh, so it's notched out at the bottom because I didn't feel the need to put all that uh, wood behind where you where the bed is. Uh, so I think that dotted line on there is just kind of showing how the like a king size bed would overlap that notch and cover up. Uh, that section that's not missing in, or missing but in fact uh, the way mine comes down on the ends that's just for the those end tables if you were doing this without the end tables that could just go straight across and uh, save yourself a lot of work but we had to come down to support those end tables so anyways uh, you can see it's 11 foot by what about six six and a half feet overall so it's a pretty pretty big piece of wood all right so here uh, we got that those dimensions that shape framed up just with regular two by fours uh, and it's you know honestly that's not a very strong thing to move around but uh, you'll see once you get all the wood nailed to it it's very solid so I started off thinking this would be a pretty rustic look um, so even when we decided to use walnut which is real nice wood originally I was just going to use kind of rough milled walnut like this uh, in fact, this is the stack that we used. Uh, we didn't use all of it, but we used a good chunk of that. But we ended up planing it down and making it look a little more like furniture grade. But there's a lot of different directions you could go with, with how you want this to look and what kind of wood you use. It would just totally change the way this thing looks. So we used that same 3 quarter inch walnut on everything. We edge glued all these pieces together to make the boards for the, um, the sides of the end table. Uh, I did use eight quarters for the top, so the tops and then that shelf are thick, but uh, here's some more pieces that are edge glued in process. And, uh, and so then I would take those pieces and I made a quarter inch template for that curve on the side of the end table. So there's that quarter inch piece and it's just sitting on top and then we just used a router to follow that template and make sure uh, all those were exactly the same. So there we have the three quarter inch board all nailed on there. We've got different widths boards. So we just had to keep different widths boards in different rows, uh, kind of a random pattern. But uh, so that's before finish, but you can see the electrical that we roughed in there and uh, kind of roughed in like it's a normal wall. Uh, so I'm really sorry I don't have more pictures and stuff along the way here. I'm doing my best. I wasn't planning on uh, making a video out of this. so. Kind of taking what I have and trying to go through it because I thought it was such a cool build in hindsight. But you'll notice that uh, the edges are just exposed two by four. Those will get wrapped with one by, but not until after it's hung on the wall because we we hung it on the wall and then we had some cleats screwed to the wall that we screwed through that edge into. Uh, and so then after everything was solid, then we trimmed it out with one by after it was on the wall. 
So here's a few pieces uh, uh, ready to be assembled for the end tables. Uh, those slots are just for dominoes. So those were 100% uh, put together and glued together with dominoes. And you can see that we got a little sloppy on our domino layout. I can see in the radius cut there that some of them are exposed. But I usually don't hate it when that happens because when you finish it, those actually look kind of cool if they're in the right spot. So yeah, here's what they look like assembled. Um, they're just th made out of three quarter inch walnut boards, uh, eight quarter uh, tops on them, just to make a nice solid sturdy top. Looks a little nicer, but yeah, very simple design, kind of just a single drawer uh, with a little magazine rack or something underneath uh, that'll probably never get used, but it, it helps, it helps um, for a more stable design. It looks nice. <sighs> So here we're just drilling in dominoes that'll hold, uh, in this case, it's the shelf across the top, but then we're gonna do the same thing to hold in the uh, end tables as well. So there you can see the holes all drilled out for the shelf and then kind of went domino crazy on those end tables. A Couple things to note about those, we did put blocking behind uh, where we were doing the dominoes, so it's not just three quarter inch walnut. Uh, those go deep into some other blocking as well. And then we didn't use glue with any of those. Those are all dry fit and then back screwed from the back side. We screwed them. And so the beauty of that is that um, we can pull that off the wall, take the screws out and remove those shells or end table anytime uh, we need to move it or so on. So it looks like everything probably has a coat of finish on it uh, right here. Uh, there's the one by that will wrap it later and then that eight quarter shelf. So yeah, and then here's everything, uh, probably a final coat or something, but uh, pretty much done at this point, ready to rock and roll. So we call these Z brackets where they kind of hook together. One goes on the wall and one goes on the product. We use them a lot uh, in construction, but uh, these are a lighter duty. The, the, uh, the brackets that are for this are like, they're a lot bigger and heavier duty. Um, but the nice thing is these are real thin, real low profile, so you can go pretty tight against the wall. So we pretty much framed this thing, and we knew there was going to be an outlet behind there. And so we did put Romex through it and wired, uh, wired in the outlets, even wired in a couple of lights here. And then um, before we hung it on the wall, we just plugged it in. It was, so it was kind of a turnkey deal. <clears throat> but, uh, so, but if you look at the side here, there's a one by on the side here and you can't, you can't see behind there. So you can't see the cleats or anything. And so, uh, so we, so basically the one by is the only part we put on later and actually, uh, these we put on later too. So the wall came in one section, we hung it on the wall and then the, uh, so it's hung on the cleats and there was a, a cleat that we had inside of that last stud and we're screwed into that. So it can't lift back off of there. Uh, and then we just trimmed it out with the one by four. So <clears throat> it's actually made for a really easy installation because it was pretty much built. We just had to hang it on the wall and and uh, nail the one by on it. And then we put these on. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. That's, uh, that's my headboard project. So ho hope you like it. Um, subscribe, uh, so make sure you can see the next things that are coming out. See you later.